Welcome back everybody, it's Levin Toadson here again with another episode of Medieval. So last time we did Dan's Crypt and the Graveyard. I don't know if you guys will remember. If you haven't seen it, go and look at the part one of the series. I am going to be uploading the whole game through walk game through walkthrough, so uh, please I would appreciate for the support. So let's go into it. We're going to Cemetery Hill this time. The hilltop mausoleum waits atop Cemetery Hill. It's a rocky road, but exercise would do those old boons some good. Well, he has been laying on his back for a hundred years, so I guess that makes sense. Although, there's no muscles to exercise, but anyway, let's not get into that. Let's see. Ah, look who it is. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> what an iconic evil law. Oh. Oh, this is like a Donkey Kong type of level effect. That's pretty cool. Start with these pesky zombies. Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. Alright, um, I just don't have a club yet and I doubt if the sword will break anything, but I will try. See if there's any secret walls or stuff that we can do. Prayer stones we can break, but doesn't seem like there's anything there. Yeah, that's just there's nothing there. And the wooden cross we can't break, but we can break some mains, so that makes sense. I'll say the crossbow works quite well. It doesn't seem that there's any like powered up version of it. It's like either shoot one at a time or consistent shooting. So, yeah. These boulders are going to crush your bones if you aren't careful. I hope you have a good shield equipped. Remember that each hit on your shield will chip away at its durability. Eh, better it than you, though. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to use our shield then to block the attacks. Hmm. We'll go and have a look at that right now. See if there's anything in this area. Always explore every single inch of this game. If you wanna get the hundred percent confusion here. Yeah. Of great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see. The sword doesn't do anything. Powerful attack, also nothing. Okay, so we're gonna have to get another weapon or a club or something like I mentioned before to then get through these parts. Oh, look at that! Is that a is that a pumpkin? Can I do anything with it? Is it is it an Easter egg? That's so cute though. I wonder why it's there. Oh, I can't interact with it. Maybe it's just like a little Easter egg or something. I oh gosh! Ow! Ow! Yo! Ow! Okay, I did not know I was that flammable. Gee whiz. Is this gonna last forever? Okay. Yo. Okay, note to self, don't step and fire again. Gee whiz. Yeah, I really would I would uh, I would love it if there was like a dodging ability or hang on, maybe I should just stop learning the attack sequences of these zombies or enemies, but yeah. Chest. I can't open it. Ow! Gosh! He was. Okay, that is not a normal chest. Um, goodness, maybe I should have attacked it with the crossbow. Well, if I see one of those again, I'll try it with the crossbow. Or maybe use it to advantage. I, I'm not sure. We'll see if we find one of those. Oh, that hurts. Almost took half of my HP away. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind that, we're back to full HP. That's cool. Another gold gargoyle, I think they're called. Top up some of the ammo for the crossbow and stuff. None of these are breakable, so we'll move on. 
and yeah, avoid the fire this time. There's more boulders here. See, there's an area there. Can't reach it from here. Uh, I don't have anything else that I can use. Let's see if there's anything in the book that's new. Just uh, all the goggles. These garden goggles are hard for conversation, and you don't ask them hearing. What? And if you ask them to hear their singing, unless you into rock and roll, but I'm just. <laughs> yeah, okay, well. Uh, like I said, this game in the puns is quite funny. <laughs> Rock and roll, that makes sense. Alright, so, um, seems like we're gonna have to go up this trail, guys. Uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, well, that camera angle is useful. Little hiding spots here, so, those ones just jump over. So, I'll wait for the next one to go. Oh, oh, gosh! Ow, 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 okay. Okay, so, the red one seems to fall in the holes. If, if I'm looking at it right. So the grey one skip and this one okay, so you'll have to avoid ow you'll have to avoid the red ones because they come down the hole you're standing on. And I yeah, okay. That makes sense. We'll wait for this one to go over. And then it seems like the next area is to the right. So we'll have to use our shield here. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Right, let's see, using the shield the wrong button, sorry. Shield. There we go. Uh, okay, so it actually does destroy the durability, and that one hurts quite a lot, so let's not do that again. Leave the chest. No, I didn't want to do that. Ow, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I am going to. Okay. At least I had a life ball, but goodness me. They come like on a regular basis the closer you get. Just run, just run. Ow. Jump, jump, jump. Alright. We have failed the master. We give our lives. <laughs> well, damn, okay. I was expecting some sort of boss fight or something, but if you want to just explode and die, then I'm not going to stop you. The adventurer you. would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great rewards. Yeah, okay. So... And that's that's basically confirming what I said earlier. We have to be quite thorough. Oh yeah, another healing fountain thing in it's just mm -hmm. up. And our bottle is full as well. Yeah, so we'll we'll run back the trail and see if I missed anything along the line like those treasure treasure chests. Um the one I was trying to get. And see what else there is and then we'll see if we can find the way into that secret area maybe. Like a like a gap in the cliffs here. I can jump. No. I was wondering if I can maybe go down there, and then that's like a secret entrance, but clearly not. So I'll just get the treasure chests. But the shields would have probably been a lot more useful if I actually use it correctly. I was trying to avoid it rather than blocking it, but I had booked. I reached the top, and so so. No harm, no foul, I guess. Oh wait, here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is that area. This is the secret area we're looking for. These are different, like, zombie type things. It's, that's weird. We haven't faced this yet, so... Let's keep our distance. Seems like they have, like, a sort of charge attack, and then... Yeah, they fall down, and that's when they run away. That's pretty cool. So let's see, tombstone is not breakable, boulders, uh, still can't do anything. I need a coast Okay. Let's see, what does the book tell us? The club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it, burn with it, but beware, one bash too many, and it will break. Ooh, okay, so does this mean we're gonna get a club now? Yes! Oh, okay, cool! So we have a club now. That's just brilliant. So she said we can bash with it. And burn with it. Oh, okay. The heavier, normal heavy attack just sticks it out like he wants to hand it to you or something. Okay, so let's bash these balls to see if it works. There we go! Okay, awesome. I was, I was actually afraid that we're gonna have to, like, progress in the game and come back 
It sometimes frustrates me when games does that. Okay, cool. So if you stick out the, the club and you hover it over the fire, then it becomes inflamed. I'm wondering now if that's going to be useful for, like, dark areas or maybe other secrets. I'm not sure. I'm going to die as well. Oh, there's a dragon on the floor here. I wonder if it's a secret. Maybe if we lit the club on fire and, I don't know, gave him fire breath or something, then something would happen. Let's see. No, getting it doesn't work. I think I think that's about it for this this part of the map. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. I see every time that you use your smash, that seems like that percentage goes down. Yeah, you see on the the durability on the club, so you can only use it a certain amount of times. Hmm. All right, how do you want? <laughs> Fresh air. We hate these dark old caves and their filthy stench of old witches. A coven of the morty old hags lived here once, unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. I don't know if you've guys noticed, but the way that these um, gargoyles speak, Especially the ones like that on the wall, they, they remind me of Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. The way they refer to themselves as us. I don't know, it, it might just be me, but it reminds me quite a bit of that. Alright, so the, he says there was witches here. Witches, and they've left the place. So yeah, I'm going to switch over to the sword a bit. Um, I don't want to mess up the club's durability just on normal like enemies and then not have something to actually progress. Sure. Looks like there's a door behind it. I'm probably gonna have to use the club again here. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay. There's like a little secret doorway here. Looks like a, a ritual spot. A guide to coffins for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventure, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or talismans. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more often than not make a request of the adventure before any such help is given. If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. Okay, that's interesting. So, witches can help us, but uh, the gargoyle said that the witches left us. Ah, oh my goodness, I did it again. <laughs> goodness. <laughs> that actually hurts quite a bit. Yo. Um, okay, so anyway, the witch is left here, so I'm assuming there's not any left here, question mark. We'll see. Alright, so, zombie, zombie, shield token. That is the chalice on that or left hand one. And more zombies and a healing valve. And then here's a torch thing. It's not a button, so let's try. Uh, we can set a light to our club. Maybe we have to light that one because it looks like this one. So we'll take the lit club to this area and see if we can light the fire. Maybe that's the. Uh, this. Ah, there we go. Yes, that, that actually would burn. I guess I have to kill all the enemies and I cannot see the bird. Some of the normal zombies and the charging ones there as well here. Yeah. This crossbow is actually working quite well. It's ricocheting off the walls as well, so even if I do miss it, it's still like shooting around. And that guy is stuck in the wall. <laughs> he was running, running in the wrong direction there. Okay. Got the last one there. Right, so we have a chest here, which is some gold. We have the chalice, 
thank goodness, uh, copper shield, so that means we're going to the Hall of Heroes again after this level. Um, that, and then a Witch Talisman. So this is probably what they spoke about before, the whole uh, talisman that you need to summon the witches or ask them for help or something. Um, let's go and see if we can do something with it. No, wrong door, wrong door. I want to go this way. Uh, yeah, sorry. Okay, so let's go quickly and see in that little hidden area if we can use the talisman at all there. Because that symbol is the same. So, item can be used here. Okay, so that means we're not going to use it here. Maybe for another level? I'm not too sure. Hmm. Maybe it will come in future areas. Hopefully, they will give us a heads up and I don't miss it. Um, if you guys know anything, let me know in the comments, maybe. If I missed anything, but it looks like everything has been done on this level. Uh, we have the chalice. And we found all of the secret areas, it seems, so let's go back up. I think then that is the final part of this level. Which means we are going to the Hall of Heroes. Hopefully to get another weapon. But we'll see. I, I'm not sure if we get a new weapon every single time, or how does it work. Because it seemed like there wasn't too many statues, but... Uh, yeah, let's just fill up our health here quickly as well. Let's see, I just want to check if this is breakable. Nope, not breakable at all. It's just a decoration. Let's fill up our health. There we go. My little bottle as well. And the fountain is done. Okay, cool. That seems to be it for this level, guys. Let's uh, move along and see where it takes us. Alright, so we're going back to the Hall of Heroes again. Um, let's see what they what they have for us this time. Back from the battle so soon? It must think it is a hero by now. But only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. Okay, uh, okay, so in the previous episode, remember, we looked at this statue over here and we were like, we didn't know what was going on there, so it seems like the further he progresses along the missions, the more solid it becomes. Homage to the hero. Okay, we heard that already, so this one is lit up. Let's see what he wants. Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the evil dead to throw your strides up. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. <laughs> the way he looks at the statue. <laughs> okay, so another life bottle. Okay, so we have now three extra health bars, basically. And our two chalices we found. That's cool, so uh, it's probably gonna run the whole collection down there. Seems to be all for now, so let's head out. Quickly resupply my my stock here so that we have enough, and then we can move along. But guys, I think I'm gonna call it here for this episode. Um, we went through the cemetery hills now. Let's quickly have a look where we are heading next in our next episode, and then we will pick it off from there. So cemetery hill. Let's check. Where my controller just died. Just give me a second. There we go. Alright, next one. The Hilltop Mausoleum. But we will do this one in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And then I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day. Cheers.